a lot of master numbers are not living up to their potential. My name is Vanessa. I am your numerologist, your relationship and intimacy coach, and I'm here to change that. So you as a master number can live up to your potential. You step into your true power and you stop neglecting your superpowers. With the master number 11, 22, 33, you are here on a special mission. This video is specifically for master number 22, 4. And master number 22, 4, let me tell you that you are here on earth to change the way how we live. This is in our current time more than needed because we are collectively going through a big change. We are coming out of a time age where we've been guided by structures, by frameworks, control, and we are moving into a more feminine approach of living, which you have with your number two so much in your chart where we change the way how we live. So we need you awake 22 fourth. We need you in your power. And this is why I create this video to help you to understand your superpowers, to understand your challenges, your shadows, so that you can work on your shadows and you can live your potential and your strength. You have a immense strength. You're a master manifester and you're here to teach others. But I dive more into that before I dive deep into your number and why you're here on earth, magical numbers. I want to invite you to my life and interactive master number workshop, which I'm just creating brand new specifically for master numbers because you have this special gifts and talents. But as well, you have that high potential not to live your powerful forces, your superpowers to the fullest and you hide behind um, yeah you hide in the dark and I want to help you to transmute your powers your superpowers your gifts into the light so that you can help humanity in the way how we live here on earth and you can make a big change here I know that and I know that a lot of master numbers are watching my channel so I create that workshop specifically only for you so we can be in that environment only in connection with master numbers so we can really work deep on the on the topics how can you protect your energy how can you work with your sensitivity because this is what i see all master numbers have that in common they are highly sensitive highly empathic highly intuitive but often you don't know how to live that potential how to deal with all these emotions and your sensitivity and I will help you to set healthy boundaries to step in your power and to live your superpowers and to get some guidance on your way and support and confirmation you are on the right way in connection with other master numbers it's so powerful because you will have the connection with these other powerful human souls so yeah Sign up in the link is in the description box for that live and interactive workshop. I'm happy to see you there and diving in now. Which change brings the master number 22-4 into our lives? The master number 22-4 is here to change the way how we live. I was already saying that in the introduction, you are here to make a change how we live on earth and as we are collectively going through so many changes we have globally really challenging times in Europe it's not easy right now politically in other countries I know it's not easy right now as well 
So we are going through challenging times because we are going through a transformation time. We're coming out of a global pandemic which changed all our lives already how we live. And as I see it, you are here to bring the new into the earth, a new way of living. And you can help others to find guidance how to live here in this world with this new on the new earth and this is a process where you are truly needed awake and in your power with the number 22 master number 22 you are master manifestors you can bring exceptional visions into our physical world you can bring the unexpected the visions the dreams into our physical world and this is very beautiful you have a unique mission master number 22 You are here to execute and build projects that will benefit a large amount of people. And if you feel like you're working on projects, you're working, 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 and it doesn't show, for the master number 22, it's very important to understand it takes some time for you. You are a step-by-step -step builder. So sometimes your true success and breakthrough comes more in the second half of your life but it doesn't need to when you are young 22 master number then it can be that you move through an accelerated process let me know by the way in the comments down below if your master number 22 where you have it in your numerology chart is it your life path number is it your destiny number is it your birthday number If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, watch my video about yeah, how can numerology help you. They have all the possible numbers explained in detail. And as well, I invite you to book an individual personal reading with me to step into your true power and to see if you might have a master number 22 or maybe even more master numbers in your chart than you that it's already obvious to you so the how to work with a master number 22 for it is important to understand that you have the number two very present in your chart and the number four plays an important role for you as well so you can imagine that like a cookie The number four is the filling of your cookie and the four is all about process, stability and goal-oriented building and nurturing. The number two are the cookies on the outside and the number two is all about love, harmony, peace, emotional stability, femininity, going with the flow, intuition, sensitivity. So mastering these polarities, you already thought it's like short introduction about the two and the four very polarity um, there's a high polarity between these numbers so mastering these polarities and let them co-create this is your challenge and i will dive deep into in this video especially in the energy of the number four because it's, it's super key for you to understand the number four energy to let then at the end the number four energy and the number two energy co-create in your life this will be the magic at the end i'm explaining the number two energy more specific for you and then i will bring the numbers together at the final countdown of this video <laughs> so what you will learn about the number four is the high vibrational state qualities of the number four what you need to learn your challenges and how is the number four showing up in relationships so i have a lot of beautiful informations ready for you to present are you ready to dive deep into the number four the number four i call it the builder and nurturer keywords for the number four are teacher hard worker security seeker emotional stability inner security The number four is all about limitation. The number four in your charts shows you how you limit yourself. Having a deep insight with me in your chart can help you to get a full, making full sense of this point, what I just said, understanding your limitations, seeing where the number four shows for you. Facing limiting circumstances um, is something 
which um, yeah is just the topic of the number four. This can be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial or a combination of all. <laughs> um, this is where you can see limits in these areas. The number four tends to think more inside the box, which is um, yeah limiting the number four. So it's highly beneficial for the number four to rise the horizon and to explore the unknown and to find that balance between the two and the four. The two is generally more curious about exploration and more intuitive guided which can create as well some tension <laughs> between these numbers as you already realized in the introduction. So the high vibration of the number four. The number four is very practical, detail oriented. It's a seeker of knowledge and shares as well the knowledge it seeked already. Uh, the number four is working to create a sense of security in their life. The number four stands for honesty, loyalty, commitment, goal orientation. In its high vibration, this represents the number four, these qualities. The number four in its high vibration, it's not a wild energy. The so number two can be more wild, a wild woman <laughs> energy, wild feminine energy. Um, so um, the number four is more so connected with the mind and intelligence, intelligence, logic, and the number four knows how to build solid foundations, solid structures. The number four is very smart, has a high intelligence, and um, the number four oversees the development of operating systems. What is the number four here to learn? The number four is tempted to skip, skip steps to reach their goals, but the number four is a step-by-step -step builder. So the number four needs to learn to honor the process, to honor the steps. And you know these steps, number fours, <laughs> you know them. And when you skip a step, you need to repeat that step. That is very important for you. How will you know that you skip the step? You will know it when you fail because you will not fail when you honor the steps. If you skip the step, you will fail. And you can skip steps, don't get me wrong. If you tap into your intuition with the number two and you know it when it's the right time to do something, you need to listen to your intuition. But that is the key, you need to have a really good access to your intuition, understanding about your int intuition. Um, so this is highly important for you, tuning into your intuition um, when it's time to do so. If it was not the right time to do so, you will realize because you're going to fail. Um, and through that failure, don't see it as a bad thing, see it as a brilliant thing because you will learn how to build true success for yourself and you will learn how to master your unique step-by-step -step process. For every master number 22-4, a step-by-step -step process looks different for every one of you. There's no such thing than a formula for that. You just need to discover that for yourself. So number four needs to learn to be methodical and reliable. This is key for you. So success will come for you if you commit to your goals. So you can see as well a number four not willing to commit at all, avoiding any commitment to any goals and not working focused on any project. This is a sign it's time for you to learn to commit to a goal and to um, yeah, be reliable, be committed because that is your superpower as the number four and you can work with that immense force. You can bring real change in how we live here on earth. So learn as well how to create stability through the process. Learn the advantage of systems and orders to use them for you, for your process. And um, yeah, you have an incredible drive and ability to work harder than the average person. Learn how to use that ability. Don't deny it as a number four. So number four, what is the purpose of your existence here on earth? It is to create something lasting here in that world something which has 
even for the next generations an impact. You are not here to build something short term, something quick. You are here to build something lasting and that takes time. This takes dedication. This takes your commitment. So what are the challenges of the number four in that way? In your childhood, you often grow up in an environment where you need to take too much responsibility too early. So you are very you're forced kind of to be very serious about your finances so the four has often a hard time in their childhood and misses out on the lighter elements in their life so for the number four it's really hard um, really important to um, work through these challenges and to hear these childhood experiences and to let go a little bit of the control, always to do everything perfect and always needing to take responsibility for serious matters in your family. Mm. And number four, rarely has time for activities that don't lead them anywhere because and number four is built to, to get results. So mm, learn as well to let a little bit go of that need always always having a goal in mind and just float with life that's very important when we integrate the number two energy because the number two needs a more free approach a more approach that's more floating more free spirit like mm. challenges other challenges for the number four are that um, the number four is governed by the health sector and so it's very important to take care of your health it can be that you have a weak body or you have issues with illness diseases so really work on building a solid foundation with your body nurture your body really create healthy habits for for your body even you're so focused on a project of yours that you think you have no time to take care of your health and your body but this is key to success for you to take care of your health and your body to take time for that to have a body which is built on a strong foundation because as well our body is here our foundation our vessel here on earth which we have here as a gift in this lifetime to to be in so nurture your body i have a video on my day three of my cosmic countdown where i speak about nutrition high vibe nutrition i highly recommend you to watch that video so the number four a challenge can be that they are facing two extremes the number four takes more responsibility than needed or avoids taking over responsibility at all let me know in the comments down below which type are you <laughs> are you taking too much responsibility on you or are you avoiding taking over responsibility at all finding a healthy balance of taking over responsibility and commitment is crucial and key to your stepping into your leadership role in your life master numbers 22 so another challenge for the number four is that they say they don't like to argue but often ending up in argues because the number four can be very opinionated having a strong opinion so even they don't want to argue somehow they end up in argumentations learning on learning that other people have the right to have an opinion as well and not needing to be right at the end is very important for the number four there are a lot of opinions out in the world so learn to accept that the number four is as well having the challenge of um yeah longing for affirmation and they are very uncomfortable or even so afraid of criticism um, this can be a challenge for you that you're sometimes holding yourself back because you are looking for that affirmation or you are afraid of being criticized. And allowing your brilliance to come out is very important for you because you are a brilliant mind 
master number 22. So the number four can end up in cycles where the four feels stuck, limited and restricted. And so they make over and over the same mistakes again. Working through breaking the cycle, stepping out of um, that negative cycle, negative spin is crucial. And here for you can work with your body, take your body on board, I would say in this periods because our body is our vessel and can bring you out of a stuck situation work with breath work bringing your chakras in alignment coming now to speak about the learning lessons of the master number 22-4 your learning lessons are stepping out of your comfort zone out of your secure zone or more to say um enlarging your comfort zone step into the unknown that will make you feel uncomfortable but you will receive great results if you do so if you have the courage and self-confidence to step into the unknown do a step you uh, wouldn't necessarily do because you're afraid of it maybe as well afraid of criticism afraid of blaming yourself Another learning lesson for you, number four, is to watch out for the need of over cooperation, giving everything and then falling into resentment. So it can be that you give everything for a project or for someone else and you, then you fall into resentment and find a healthy balance between cooperation um, to cooperate is very important for you with the number four influence. Um, another learning lessons if you're trying to skip steps <coughs> know that um, I was speaking about that earlier already failure is an important indicator to look what went wrong and um, to find this sweet spot when it's time to be courageous to tap into your intuition leaving your step-by-step -step path and when it is time for you to follow your steps you know it by heart and in general, master numbers 22, for you are not an overnight success, your path involves the small doable steps, time and commitment, because you are building something lasting here in the world. Another learning lesson for the number four energy is avoid stubborn streak mm. and the tendency to know it all. So you have the ability to gather, gather other supporters around you and to hand over some responsibilities to others. You don't need to be responsible for everything. Knowing that is crucial for you with the master number 22 to lean as well into the trust of others' abilities. Very important for you because you thrive in teamwork. This is one of your superpowers. You're not a solo worker you need a team around you the so number four can become single-minded so it's very important to learn to stay open for your intuition and for change another learning lessons for the number four is the lack of trusting into other abili abilities to really truly step into that cooperation to trust that others can do it well what makes a number four thrive a number four thrives in moving slow in a clear environment in order and structure what are the talents and gifts of the number four creativity which shows more often in technical ways like um, in with a practical approach like photography playing an instrument um, any art form which requires a technical skill so it is like a creative technical or um, practical approach um, the number four is always absorbing information reading watching endless YouTube videos <laughs> maybe you watch a lot of videos on my channel if you haven't I invite you have a lot of interesting topics and let me know as well as a master number 224 what topics are you interested in to learn more about another talent of you is to build strong and solid foundations to bring something lasting into the world 
Uh, with the Navasa number 22 for your animal whisperer. So um, animals often play an important role in your life. Let me know if you have an animal. What's your favorite animal in the comments down below? Um, the animals are as well one gateway for you to balance your energy and to zoom out of your intense focus working on a project. So animals bring you peace and animals are automatically attracted to you um, they just like always around you somehow magically they reduce stress and um, yeah while taking consistently care of an animal that's your thing because there you can as well practically do something consistent through feeding your animal giving them water going out with a dog this is exactly um, what's like what you're made for um, you are another talent of the number four is as well your protector so you like to protect your things you are very it's things are very important for you you have a certain sense of seriousness which is beautiful about um, what you do you have the talent of focusing on one object so you work the best while you're focusing on one thing you're not necessarily made for multitasking but that is beautiful because you have the ability of that deep focus and um, you can absorb and process information at a great depth what are the values of the number four the number four values honesty loyalty security and structure how is the number four in relationships so the number four can have the tendency to skip from similar relationships to the next. Um, this is a point because it's hard for the number four to open up vulnerable with their partner and sometimes as well to open up vulnerable that they haven't healed a topic. And for the number four, it's really important to have a healthy relationship, a successful healthy relationship to heal your childhood wounds and um, dysfunctional relationships you had in the past not putting on a mask that um, you're already over it that you already healed it the four tends to do that open up vulnerable that there is something more to heal something more to look at and it um, doesn't make you a failure or that you don't have it all together this only makes you human it makes creates a more intimate bond with yourself and with others to admit that and to really look at the relationship wounds you are facing so that you can break the cycle of stepping into the next unhealthy relationship over and over again you the so number four by nature loves to nurture their partner loves to nurture the relationship is a very stable partner committed partner beautiful number to be with um, love to provide for their partner love to create stability for the relationship the number four can sometimes a little bit rigid in their routines which can um, be challenging for a, a relationship which consists out of two people so the number four needs to learn a relationship to to as well accept their partner's rhythm that they have as well a way how to to do things and finding yeah creating sometimes maybe like compromises or going with the flow of your partner to lean there into the unknown into a field you don't know yeah the number four is why well, sometimes don't like when someone doesn't follow the rules this can be a, an obstacle in relationships so learning that um, yeah finding that balances your partner that you both have the same power in a relationship and you don't try to hold on the power and control how things need to move in your relationship yeah the four tends to think in black and white so very strict what's right or wrong good or bad acceptable and unacceptable and this needs to be resolved in relationship as well to see that yeah both partners in the relationship um, have a different point of view and this can be the beautiful thing for you to learn in relationships to accept that other that other opinion that other point of view and realizing that there is something bigger and you step out of your inside the box thinking and open yourself up for other way of thinking how are women often perceived with the number four energy they're often perceived as masculine 
because they take charge they have that take charge energy they're very responsible and they love to take care of everything knowing that as a woman that you have a strong appearance masculine experience ap appearance is very important especially as a master number 22-4 you have that appearance but you have a very sensitive and intuitive side with the number two energy so knowing that you can appear that way this is why it's even more important for you to open up vulnerably about your internal world so how does a man as a number four with a number four energy is perceived they want partners who appreciate their ability to provide security and as well seeing here as a male 22 for master number that um, you have a soft and gentle side a very intuitive side and allowing yourself that to bring that into the world what is here to heal for the number four to heal in their relationship um, patterns i was already mentioning a lot in the relationship sector but here's the most important thing for you. Heal old emotional wounds. Um, take that mask off where you have said, oh, I got over it all about your abusive, abusive ex, about different cold family structures, about an absent mother, about an um, abandonment wound in your childhood, about traumas in your childhood. Mm. Yeah, put that mask off and open up for healing. Be real about it and because if you don't, it um, will still occupy a lot of emotional energy from you in the background. So you're um, yeah, keeping yourself busy with that and you could use that energy for something else. And as well, you keep yourself in the same cycle, ex um, attracting the same partners over and over again. So finally, so how can we the four perceived um, as in their shadows um, can per be perceived as cynical, arrogant, holy and even so the four only tries to offer advice or provide information, they can come off like that. So <laughs> that was a lot of information about the number four but very important for you as a master number 224 to take the time to understand the number four because this is your essence this is what you have to master and challenge in your life this is why i put so much focus in that video about i'm um, here about the number four as a master number 22 the challenge is to integrate and balance rational practical practicality of the number four with the intuition and the emotionality of the double two this is why i'm speaking now about the number two energy which you have double in your chart as a master number keywords for the number two are sensitivity intuition relationships femininity unity and support qualities of the number two are um, the number two seeks harmony and refuses conflict seeks peaceful environments to find balance, is a medi mediator that seeks fairness, peace and serenity. So um, yeah, boundary setting is very important and emotional resilience. It's a number two is very sensitive, has an incredible strength at the same time. The number two thrives in partnerships and the number two is the happiest when it's in service of a family or community of their choice. What does the uh, number two value? The number two values love, togetherness, harmony, fairness. What are the learning lessons for the number two? Um, the number two is all about unity, bringing people together, connection, co-creation. It's all about love and relationships. So they are here to love others and to receive lo love in return. So learning about relationships is very important for the number two. The so number two avoids conflict and confrontation. Often, but there <laughs> it is, often it finds itself in conflicts. So conflict is a requirement for growth for the number two energy. Lessons to learn, another lessons to learn is for the number two to uh, learn to be patient, when it comes to delays um, the number two gets frustrated and the number two needs to learn to 
um, trust in the process and the patience that goes with it. So number two needs to learn that timing is crucial to use your powerful intuition. Don't push for the results and trying to make things happen. Use your intuitive timer which you have inside. So number two, another learning lesson for you is that you are like an emotional sponge. So the problematic a problem with the number two is that often the two cannot distinguish between their own energy and another and their with their own energy and another person's energy because you um, take in other other energies from other souls around you from other people around you like a sponge. So it is very hard for you to find that separation what is yours and what is someone else's. Because you take on emotions from others and then you feel drained, unacknowledged, used and abused. These are indicators for you to realize when um, yeah, you take in too much emotions from others. People um, often use the number two as a trash king for their psychic garbage. So you need to learn to set emotional boundaries and you need to learn how to hold your own energy don't start to blame then others. I'm not a big fan of that saying, oh, I'm so emotional and now you're giving me all this emotional garbage. No, take responsibilities for yourself. Um, take a break from people when you feel you need it and don't start to blame other people for, for, for yours. That's a superpower of yours as well, that you have that emotional intelligence and you can tap in with other people's energies this is what makes you a powerful very powerful healer and teacher your le another learning lessons is you have to set healthy emotional boundaries to get to know your soul on a deep level there's where numerology reading can help you to understand your your soul on a deeper level with all your numbers in your chart and not only your life path number and not only your master number as well, understanding the other numbers. Another learning lesson for the number two is learn healthy detachment to find your own identity because the number two um, tends to fall into codependent relationships, into dependencies. So learn to healthy detach yourself. Then so number two can implode when it feels like everyone is asking too much from it. So um, meltdowns, aggression or passive aggressiveness are topics so number, four ne uh, so number two needs to work with to learn not to um, yeah, get these meltdowns, aggression, or passive aggressiveness um, set already boundaries before with the people around you that you not get into that state where you feel like everyone is only asking things from you um, as well for the number two it's very important to learn how to live with your hypersensitivity so that was the magic of the number two and we are now bringing the double two into the number four. So the number four is more like cool, rational, emotionally disengaged and the double two overrides the rationality. It is a beautiful dance between yin and yang, the two and the four, your intuition and practical application and um, yeah bring that yin and yang energy into the flow balancing your feminine energy and your masculine energy it's beautiful to let them flow and dance together maybe others can't see how sensitive you are with the number two um, within your chart they might perceive you more with the four energy so that's why you can feel wounded by sometimes so it's up very important for you to learn to open up from your heart shell, soften your heart, open up vulnerably to others so they can see your sensitive side actually. The power of the two helps you to see all sides of the equation, understanding opposite, opposing points of view. And um, yeah, with the two and the four, you have a strong tendency to over cooperate because the four loves to cooperate, the two loves to cooperate, and the double two, <laughs> you especially love to cooperate so don't give it all to others and then fall into resentment work on finding a healthy balance between cooperation and time for yourself so two and the four carry both a sense of duty and responsibility within them so two feels more responsibility to keep peace and make sure that everyone is happy the four feels accountable to 
um, for tasks of the ordinary um, or for tasks of to bring order and structure into other people's life. Um, this can feel overwhelming within you because with the two and the four, double two, you have the double sense of um, keeping the peace and making everyone happy. And the four, you have a sense, yeah, for keeping the order and the structure and that can be overwhelming. So here's a relationship with your parents and siblings, very important um, for the two and the number four, for the two, especially with the aspect of stepping out of codependent natures um, because you might be afraid of losing the love of someone else, of, um, of a loved one, stepping out of people pleasing for the number two. A lot of master numbers don't live up to their potential, which is very sad because you have such a high potential. And this is because of your high sensitivity and your um, and the balance between your physical, emotional and mental aspects of their life um, that can be overwhelming and a lot. Your energy is a lot. So you truly need to learn to master your energies and to live in balance, physical, emotional and mental. Take all these three layers into account um, in your life. Don't neglect one of these layers. Um, stay in alignment with the power you have. Don't abuse your power because you have a strong power. The so master number tend to sacrifice and compassion on service on some level. Um, yeah, it can be as well that you avoid completely life's possibilities and responsibilities because you're afraid to step into your power. Um, you with the two and so forth you can have a obsession to tell others what to do and what not what to think and what not you need to release that um, to let that go and um, that can as well distract you from living in your power um, you can experience inner confusion and stress um, because you feel so much you're hypersensitive and you tend to make impulsive decisions you regret later this more coming out of the number two which tends to make sometimes impulsive decisions and then you can be stubborn and hold their course even so you repeat over and over the same mistake again this is the number four which um, has a hard time to be flexible codependency as i was saying is a big topic um, for the number two um, double two a very important topic to look at finding a healthy dependency on others um, overgive to depletion so that you're burnt out because you give so much and you forget to see yourself and you have a hard time maybe to see yourself with the number two energy um, yeah the superpowers of the master number 22-4 is manifestation you are a master manifestation the 22-4 can master um, everything if it's pushed into small manageable steps and you have the power of dream materialization bringing dreams into reality that is a very beautiful superpower of yours cooperation the highest success it lies for you in working together with others steady partner and relationships all kinds very beautiful superpower of the master number 22-4 your visionary builders um, you thrive to build something greater than you you love to devote yourself to projects and pondering ideas your intuition is your superpower relying on your intuition is a base for your success and you're very loyal that's the superpower of you loyal honest methodically and um, yeah, as well your sensitive side and your emotional intelligence is a superpower of you because through that you have an easy time to read other people, to heal other people, to help other people of, on their journey and to help the way how we live in our world. So um, yeah, this was it. It was just like my, my video turned on 44, <laughs> um, another master number. So, um, yeah, this is a master number 22-4. Let me know where it shows in your sh chart. What questions do you have about the 22-4? What's open for you or if you resonate with my words? Super happy to hear from you as well. I invite you to sign up for my master number workshop 
where I really help you master numbers to step into your power and live up to your potential which is so so high love to have you there and I'm sending you the highest blessings if you feel called to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me I am absolutely happy to speak with you in person I wish you a beautiful and blessed day namaste